Hello everyone, welcome to another home vlog. So as lots of you guys know, we are building our literal dream home. It's been a long process. We bought the land, how many years ago do you reckon? Uh, two years ago maybe. I feel like it was longer than two. No, maybe about two and a half, two, two and a half. As long as we've had the beach house. Then, ooh, my screen just flickered. Then during lockdown, before and after lockdown, we, that was when we were doing our plans, right? Yeah. So met with our architect whose name is Olivia from Black, what's it called? Double Black. Double Black. <laughs> she's our architect, so. She actually um, came from Pani originally and she's yeah. in, where is it now? Havelock North. Yeah. yeah. So we worked with her to create our dream house. And then of course we tried to find a builder and we found one, but some stuff has changed. There's been delays. We've actually got a new builder now that's locked and loaded, ready to go. Um, so I'll fill you in once like we actually, us, <coughs> my throat, once we're actually like starting this time because um, just in case anything else freaking happens, there's been lots of hiccups along the way. I'm sure if you guys have ever built a house, you can probably relate. Um, but everything's all good. We still haven't started. The industry's just crazy right now. If you guys are in a similar position, like building or anything, you probably understand where we're coming from. So we're hoping to start very shortly. We are ready, like our end. The but target is August. The target's August to start now. Yeah. Um, and we were supposed to start like early year. Our plan, like the council's still not even finalized our plans. So as of like, yesterday it's terrible. afternoon, Everything was submitted that they wanted us to correct. Yes, they wanted us to correct some stuff, so yeah, it was delays. The most stupidest thing, but anyway, yeah, dumb we've stuff. We've done that, and yep. it should be signed off like this week. I swear the council is so weird, like weird and nitpicky over the dumbest things. Like, I get it, safety and blah blah blah, but also like, what the hell? <sighs> and they take so long. Like, we were supposed to have stuff signed off by the council at the beginning of the year. There's been delays. Uh, you get the gist, so we've had to make up some changes. <sighs> so hopefully this time everything's all good to go. Um, we found ourselves another builder who's amazing and recommended to us by quite a few different people and our architect and everything, and he seems really cool so far. Um, and yeah, he's ready to start in August. We're actually already starting to order, what was it, the cedar? So we've got this thing that we've just ordered, which is like terrifying to order, and it's all the structural steel. The steel for the building. Even yep. that alone, I was like, oh my god, that's, yep. if you're doing a two-story house, um, be aware that structural steel costs a shitload. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Got that and How like, much was it? Over, over $50,000. Yeah, $50,000 of Plus. steel. Um, yeah. Is that normal or is that COVID enhanced as well? Because COVID has, um, like a lot of building supplies have just like gone fink up with COVID. Um, and because the ports are so busy and everything, there's delays everywhere to do with like materials, stuff to go inside the house. Like when it comes to kitchen stuff, like just everything's crazy. Yeah, and if you're doing cedar, be aware. This is, this is one thing I found really weird. So you know how much cedar you've got, you know it's expensive. You order it but you don't pay the price until it lands. So it takes like, you know, 10 plus weeks. And in that time, the price rises. When normally, so then you pay the new price. Yeah, you pay the new price. Normally you would, pay, like say if I was getting a kitchen done, I'd be like, all right, how much does it cost? Sweet, I pay it and I wait. And, and then, then you get it. install it. Yeah. But with cedar, they're just like, nah. If it yeah. goes up by the end of it, that's it. You would just pay it. I'm like, yeah. what the? <laughs> Cause we're doing cedar. This is for our cladding, which if you don't know what cladding is, that's like the outside of the house. So how it looks, street view, the outside, the exterior. So like some people do brick or weatherboard or whatever. So we've got cedar and... We're doing a cedar and like a slate, which is like a really yeah, different Yeah, that state. doesn't matter. And we're doing plaster. Plaster. And that's rock coat. Rock coat plaster. Anyway, it's gonna look amazing. Obviously you guys are gonna see it most of the steps along the way. I'm gonna vlog as much as I can. I also wanna do some like highlights on my Instagram. Um, and I also want to do some like TikToks and stuff, just like showing it as it gets done. Um, and our builder's fine with us vlogging it, which is cool. So, yeah, you we'll show you. Name? He's locked in. Is he locked in? Locked in? Yeah. <laughs> ben Cousins. From in house construction. In house construction. He's done amazing work and we've heard amazing things about him. So, yeah. Yeah, and the build time's estimated for t uh, 12 months. So, 12 you've heard months. it now. So, if we start August, in August. August. That should be done by so that means for my 30th birthday, I'll have a new house. 
possible. I bet you it'll get blown out of it. But oh, I always expect delays, especially in this friggin' day and age. But hopefully not. Hopefully we're all good. I will keep you guys updated. But anyways, that brings me to the point of today's video. Today we are going to pick some stuff for the house, get started on it. Like, pick out some of the interior stuff we like, like tiles and things. That's actually our first stop. We're off to live in. And by the way, I'll link stuff down below if it's relevant while I'm talking. Like I'll link some websites for you to browse in case you're from the Manawatu area and you want to go have a look at the places we're going to. Um, and I think this tile place actually is an online shop so even if you're anywhere in New Zealand maybe you can have a look. I don't know. Hamish made me a coffee in my new Gaia cup. It's so delicious. We use some caramel drops. Yum! They're almost fully sold out. Oh there you go. Make sure you get one if you want one. I wanted to vlog about something else. Um, so literally, like I remember I vlogged about it and when I vlogged I was like oh something was supposed to be done like a week ago or a month ago or whatever it was. It's been ages basically. We are still waiting for our packaging to be finished for our new Guy product. But yeah I'm really excited about it and we're working on another new one which is literally like life changing. Oh the samples for that arrived today. Yay. So the samples arrived today. They got held up in customs for the longest time, the ingredients. Yeah. Um, but. Yay, we can start working on that. You guys are going to be obsessed. But our new product that you guys have been requesting um, is coming soon still. We're really actually quite disappointed. Basically what happened, I'll just tell you guys who cares. So we had all of our stickers and everything made for the packaging, right? So the product's ready to go. And the bottles are ready to go. But the stickers came and the material that the stickers were made of, it bubbled when it, they were applied onto the actual like tubs. Um, so we had to get new ones and change them and retest them and everything. Nightmare. Basically, they're a different finish, so it was different from our Ugaia Bloom. Anyways, we're working on it. It's really frustrating. It's a learning curve. But once it's sorted, it's sorted and there won't be any more delays. But, yeah. Okay. We're really excited about it. We're disappointed that it's not out yet. But And they did the, the, you know, the shimmery waves on the bloom. They didn't do that the right colour. Yeah. And I was like, I detail everything clear. <laughs> Hamish problem. writes everything so clearly and there's always something that someone overlooks, I yeah. swear. My hair literally grows like a weed since I'm um, taking you guys every day. Like, look at that. I literally just got my hair done like two, three weeks ago. It's to, just crazy. Do you want to tell them the other product that's basically confirmed? No. Okay. I'm going to leave people on edge. <gasps> That's right. I actually forgot. There's another new product. It's, I'm conf this one's being made in the USA. That's why I forgot about it. Because I'm just thinking about our um, New Zealand factory. What do you call it? It's not a factory. Factory? What? Yeah. Factory. Why does that sound wrong to me? Yeah, anyways. Oh my god, it's so legit. It tastes so good. We've made it to the mighty Levin beautiful day as you can see stunning weather not cold at all here we are layer design so we um, found this place through another friend who's building a house and the tiles looked incredible and really like modern and just cool so let's see what we can find oh my god I'm busting a pair I've drunk stuff all coffee Hamish is gonna be pissing his pants later yes yeah, so I've got my mood boards here so that yeah, those are the mood boards. Are they still like, yeah. yeah, still current? So basically what I'm like sort of vibing from these mm -hmm. is like you're kind of going for like natural textures, timber tones, um, and probably more on the warmer side. Yeah, slightly warmer, yeah. But not too like crazy warm, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Like Hamish still really likes like the kind of greyish carpet, but I don't know, maybe we can go a bit more neutral, like oh, dark carpet and we'll, stuff. We'll just go with what the interior designer says yeah. on that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's more just, I know Shannon likes the concrete look for tiles. It really depends on, um, have you worked with that? The tile, and yeah. then you give me the total tile count, and I'll go. So Here's a little bit of a closer look. I think I showed you on my computer screen, but she's printed that I made these on Photoshop and just grabbed stuff off Pinterest and like wrote down what I liked just so that when I came to talk to people, I knew exactly what I liked. Otherwise, I'm, I'm a visual person, so I have to make mood boards like this. So it's helping. And then we're going to go talk to a interior and kitchen designer later on. So same thing, we'll show her this kind of thing. Um, just so that when she is kind of helping us create the inside, like she knows the vibe. Like I feel like this shows the vibe really well. Like very earthy, modern, concrete looks and timbery looks. Like hard, like you know, accent hardware or you know, black taps, gold taps, stuff like that. We're just saying that this kind of finish is a little bit 
less like full on than like the gloss in, in our opinion different things for everyone but yeah I definitely like this kind of more matte look that one's what, what did you say it's semi semi polish semi polish and it's got like little imperfections but still. which are quite cool yes like, I do like stuff like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah I see yeah. Um, so that, that sort of um, yeah, ties in well with your sort of natural mm. sort of look. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that also comes in those two colours there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With our terrible labels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so you can have something that's obviously um, a bit more stony. Yeah. Um, or you can have something that's... I do like the colours because I feel like with these like, it doesn't matter if you're doing like a cool or a warmer tone like. Yes. They just kind of look neutral there. Eh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And they look really nice with... Do you know what tap we're going to go with? Um, I think we're going to go for blacks, but I th also think maybe I, we might do like a feature gold in the powder room or like downstairs bathroom or something like. But mix it is, up a little bit, but yeah. It's changeable. Eh? These yeah, are grass now. Yeah, that's cool though. Cool. So, you, so you can do something, something that, that matches so it doesn't look as... Yeah. yeah, so it doesn't frame the tile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So just you get just like round a, this tile's really nice. Yeah. Um, wow, that looks nice. So what are, are these all the grout colours you can pick from? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it goes on. Oh, no. <laughs> Except the ones with the dots are the ones that we mainly so we mainly stock the the greys. Yeah. Yeah. None of these. None yeah, of I'm thinking what, what the heck are you gonna use purple <laughs> grout for? <laughs> that wants like a deep green to yeah. match your deep green tiles and it's so hard so we're gonna have to probably like mix yeah some just to get the right color but it can sometimes yeah. get a little no we're difficult. definitely much more neutral i think she's in. crazy keen doing that so yeah. awesome. <laughs> it yeah. probably will so, look yeah. really cool i like both anyway this one's got those more vertical horizontal whatever way you lay it the lines and that one's a little bit more like just textured randomly it is or whatever yeah. and then you can have your two one and also look at this. This looks oh shit. <laughs> this looks really cool in here. Look, that inspo. Yeah, I almost fell over already. Looks, that looks really nice. I quite like that depth for our ensuite, like this kind of. Yes. Yeah. Like, so just a little bit deeper. Yeah. And then even if it was like too much to do every, like you just do some walls lighter and just do the. Uh, what is this? Shallow but darker. Yeah. 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 Oh, these are really cool too. Like even these. Like the colours are really nice. Okay, we were worried that we'd come in and not see heaps of options. Like we thought we'd see like, you know, a couple, but there's literally endless. Like <laughs> I think I found about 25 different combinations we like, so it's gonna be harder to actually like narrow it down than it is to find anything. Oh, I love the texture stuff. Big on textures for their house, like imperfections i love imperfections textures natural tones like that's my vibe like i love the wood i'm so excited this is making me very excited like i'm obsessed with this i don't know if it would go with our house but i love like and like if you feel it it just feels so cool as well like it feels textured and natural floors and just looking at kitchen and spo like bench tops like that covers like that black hardware and then we really like this tile for like all of our flooring in the kitchen living space and downstairs like anywhere that's not carpeted basically bathrooms and stuff it's a really nice I don't know, it's a nice color too not too light not too dark but it's like a little bit of a darker one but it's still light for perspective and then that one's lighter again i think this is a really nice color to like brighten up the space but it's not like white or anything you know like those ones up there are like very white this one's like still darker here are some of our favorites this would look really cool on the walls next to like the floor tile being a little bit more simple see we really like this and this So we had our lunch, I forgot to take my camera, so I just vlogged it on my phone. Where are we going now? We're going to Mighty 10. Mighty 10. Let's look at decking. Not decking, decking. It's different. So we're looking at outdoor fires and stuff, some Rene ones. <sighs> getting some quotes. It's been a long day of talking to lots of different people. 
we looked at tiles and stuff at Mitre 10 too just to get an idea of what they look like and the costs and everything just to compare um, and looked at the decking before as well to compare with the quote we've already got for another brand that's like the same thing <laughs> guys this is really creepy of me but look at this dog I love him oh, yeah. <gasps> there's two there's two <laughs> <laughs> so we just had a meeting with Nicola from what's it called Nicola Ross Design. Nicola Ross Design. So she's helping us with like inbuilt joinery, like inbuilt cupboards and the kitchen design and cupboards, desks, like inbuilt beautiful like features in the house um, and our bedroom and in the lounges and stuff like that. And she was really, really, really cool. So I'm really excited about that. So she's going to go do some renders and stuff. I reckon next time I'll just vlog it. I'm sure she won't mind because she was asking about YouTube and stuff anyways. Because um, obviously in the house we've got an office and a filming room, so it does get a lot of questions. But yeah, so yeah, I might vlog it next time we meet up with her. But she's going to do some renderings of how the house is going to look on the inside and like with the like actual finish. And she knew so much about like the wardrobes and like the way they sat so you could maximize the space and get like extra drawers in them and like just like functionality, making it all slimline and beautiful and modern and just like amazing. So exciting. Louise obviously. Very happy we are home. What are you doing? You're a worm. <laughs> oh my goodness, and Jerry has been over, who is Hamish's stepdad, and he has cleaned our windows and look how beautiful they look. Holy moly. How long until you guys rub your noses against them? You had a haircut, didn't you? <laughs> we didn't do his legs yet because I bought some new grooming scissors. <laughs> so he's just kind of like shaved with long legs. Hey, looks like a little baby land. So yeah, today was successful. We got some good ideas. Um, got some good recommendations as well on more places to visit. But for now, we're on the right track with everything and the look we want and all of that stuff. And Nicola knows some good places to go for like the aesthetic that I want, like for sinks and stuff like that. So I'm so shit with vlogging now that I forgot to vlog dinner but this is what we made the quick teriyaki ginger bee bowl oh all of these like teriyaki bowls with hellofresh are amazing i don't know what that means yeah amazing what is the sir doing in my sink hop on my taxi come back you gotta get out of the sink i'm trying to wash my face I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. You're the only type of spider I'm not scared of. God, they move creepy though. Look at that. That's kind of terrifying. Not at me. Sorry, I've got hairs in the sink. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna try not to splash them. You good? I'm being very careful. But then now he wants the scissors. There's no grip for him. I don't want to use my finger though, that'll freak me out way too much. How about a tanning mitt? Oh, that's the good shit, isn't it? Ready? <laughs> Why squash him? I don't know where he went. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Oh god, I've got the heebie jeebies. Surely he's okay. He'll unfold himself, right? <laughs> I'm assuming he's under there somewhere. <laughs> I'm grossed out now. Oh, I don't know where he went. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand on the other side of the room. This is an Exo Beauty takeoff mitt, which you just use water and I can get some good lighting. Impossible. It removes your makeup and then when it cleans, I'm so full. I ate too much today. And it doesn't feel good and I'm due for my period. So I'm actually, like feeling very bloated and just like by the time you watch this, this will be out. I keep thinking that the spider's like on me, but it's my hair. But you know when like you just feel like things crawling on you after you've been touching like a I mean once you've seen a spider. I've got the Ulla Henriksen cleanser, the one in the orange tube on. And then 
in this to remove all of that. I forgot to double cleanse too. I like double cleansing as well. That'd be clean as because I use the microfiber mitt still. Right, I'll probably just end the vlog now. Nice and short and sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, more vlogs to come. My hair looks like trash now. Cute. My skin looks glowy AF. It's like reflective. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, anyways, yeah, good night. <laughs>